Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Ask Concept Builder. I am Ravi and in this video we learn what power factor actually means or what does the power factor signifies. Through the phasor diagram we can see that if we phasor sum this active power and the reactive power then we get the apparent power and the active power upon the apparent power is our power factor that is cos theta. This is mathematically correct, but the question remains the same. What is the power factor? What does it mean? We have proven this mathematically, but what it actually signifies? First, we'll get to know some basic concept. What is real or active power? It is the working power. What actually the equipment needs to produce the output means what the equipment actually delivers as the load. That is the real or active power. What is reactive power? It is the power which we don't see as the output, but it is actually needed by any machine to do produce the magnetic field inside it. This magnetic field is very much necessary for the electromechanical conversion. That's why any machine which you see around you will consume the both active and reactive power. The active power is observed by us, but this reactive power is consumed within the machine for producing the magnetic field. Now, what is the apparent power? It is the vector sum of the, this active and reactive power. Or it is the total power which is consumed from the power means. Okay. Now, what is power factor? This power factor tells that how much of the apparent power or the total powers supplied by the means has been utilized to do the, some useful or real work. It means how much percentage or what portion of the apparent power or the power drawn from the means has been utilized to produce some real output from the machines. Okay. Now, what is the range of this power factor? This power factor range from zero to one. If power factor is zero, it means whatever the power, power we are consuming from this supply is consumed to for doing the electromechanical energy conversion. For example, if your load is purely inductive or purely capacitive, we don't have any real power as the output. All the power which is drawn is consumed for the electromagnetic field conversion only. Suppose if the power factor is pointed, it means that 80% of the power supplied by the means has been used to produce some real work. That is 0.8 times the power, apparent power drawn has been utilized to produce some real output. The example of such loads can be your synchronous motor or RL load or RC load or induction motor. The 0.8 power factor means the 80% of the power which has been drawn from the supply has been utilized to, for producing some real outputs only. And rest all this has been utilized as the reactive power which is used for the electromechanical conversion with the, within the machine. Okay. Now, if the power factor is one, then it means that whatever power or we can say that 100% power which has been drawn from the supply supply means has been utilized to do the real work at the output. It means 100% of the apparent power drawn has been uh, utilized to do the active work. Suppose if we connect a heater, then whatever power it is drawing from the supply means it is delivering the complete power as the output as heat. It is not using any reactive power. It is delivering all the power which is consumed from the supply means as the output. So this is the meaning of the power factor. What does it mean? So I hope you guys have now understood what is the meaning of the power factor. Power factor must be higher or ideally one so that the maximum real output can be extracted from the apparent power or the maximum real power output can be delivered to the load from the supply means. So guys, if you found this video useful, give it a like and share it among with your friends. And do comment your doubts and queries in the comment section below. If you'd like to have any video on any topic in which your concept is not clear, then mention it in the comment section below. We'll try to bring a video on it. And do subscribe to our channel. And for further doubts and discussion, also you can join our Facebook group and this Telegram channel. Thank you.